What about the word we accuse? Does that cure it or do you take it separately from suspicion or you take it together? That we accused and then if it is based on suspicion, that is no accusation at all, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor, and my time is up. Thank you. Thank you, this. thank you, Your Honor, also. <clears throat> Senator Scodero. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Senator President. Um, on the point raised by Senator Cayetano, I would have had questions to the witness, but I don't think the cross-examination is over. Um, Congressman Barsaga? Yes, Kayo po ba o bahagi ho ba kayo sa nag-draft ng complaint na ito? Well, actually, I was not. But actually, I read the complaint before no. I signed it. I know, I know. That's not my point. Um, <laughs> sino po ba nagsulat nito? Dahil nais ko malaman yung intention sa likod ng mga nakasulat sa complaint. Sino po ba yung nag-draft nito? The, our lead prosecutor would be in a more competent position to answer that question, Your Honor. May I ask Congressman Tupas then, who drafted, um, wrote, and there's nothing wrong with it. I, I understand the 188 did not, um, as long as they read it and that has been settled. Sino po yung nagsulat nitong complaint na ito? Well, kami yung nagsulat niya na, Your Honors. Sino po si kami? Uh, mga congressmen, uh, merong uh, ilang grupong congressmen ang uh, nag-research, uh, mostly members ng Committee on Justice. You were part of it? Yes. I ask this, Mr. President, and may I ask that the, in the memorandum to be written by the defense, and I presume the prosecution will also write its own memorandum on the subject matter. Yeah, we reserve a right to, um, um, to file a reply to that memorandum. Bilang hurado kasi nalilito ako sa Article 2, sa totoo lang. Ang nakalagay sa Article 2, the Chief Justice failed to disclose to the public his salen. Yun lang ang nakalagay sa Article 2. Pero sa loob ng Article 2, sinulat ninyo na Maliban sa hindi niya dineklara, nilagay din niyo ron, na hindi niya sinama lahat ng properties niya. And there is a third allegation, that he amassed ill-gotten wealth. These are three separate acts that he failed to disclose, that he did not include, and that he amassed ill-gotten wealth. Pagdating ho kasi ng botohan, boboto kami, hindi sa hiwa-hiwalay na tanong na ito, kung hindi sa isang article lang, Article 2. Yeah. In your memorandum, can you kindly explain, um, um, guide us? Kailangan ba mapatunayan nyo yung tatlong to bago kami bumoto ng conviction dito sa artikulo ito? Two out of three lang ba kailangan nyo patunayan? Because in the ordinary course of events, each article must accuse the respondent of a singular separate act. But Article 2 actually accuses the Chief Justice of three separate acts, the two not even mentioned in the title. Um, so can you guide us when we come to the point that we will be voting on how we will approach voting on this subject matter? In your memorandum, I will not you seek will. an answer now um, from both <laughs> councils. Paki bigay po sa inyong inyong opinion ka ng nito dahil two out of three, battery out of three, one out of three dahil nais naming maliwanagan tungkol dito. Thank you, Mr. President. Gagawin po namin, uh, Mr. Senate President. Mr. Senate President, just a very short manifestation for the lead uh, prosecutor. Proceed. Uh, we uh, observed, Mr. Senate President, that since uh, yesterday, uh, the distinguished lead counsel of the defense has not only been uh, objecting to our questions, which, of course, that is part of uh, the right of uh, the respondent, but also lecturing and uh, lecturing us. Uh, like, for example, uh, Mr. Senate President, with we are not presenting yet, we're not offering the TCTs, the deed of absolute sale. We are just actually marking it. And the counsel for the defense is already objecting. And, this, and it has already been stated by the Senate President that this is not yet time. And we lost around one and a half hours because of this, uh, Mr. That's Senate President. I have already made a ruling. But, yes. Uh, so, to, to, so that there will be no question that we are trying to railroad this proceeding, I allow arguments to be heard by the people and by the audience so that 
they will understand what's going on. So, go ahead. Okay, in that, uh, with that respect, uh, Mr. Senate President, we submit because uh, we are just concerned that uh, we, not, we might not be able to uh, present all our evidence uh, in a reasonable, uh, uh, in a fair, reasonable manner if, uh, for example, to deal with drug like this, uh, it becomes a, a, a question of technicality. In this, inside this uh, impeachment tribunal. Thank you. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Senator Dillon, you have a... Let us finish this argument and proceed with the trial. Uh, can we raise questions to the witness, Your Honor? Is yes. it appropriate? Pro proceed. And I hope uh, counsel for the defense will not raise objections to my question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, can the witness again state his name? I have forgotten your name. Randy A. Rotakio, sir. Randy? A. Randy A. Rotakio. Rotakio, okay. R U T A Q U I O, okay. sir. Uh, Mr. Rotakio, you are the Register of Deeds of the City of Taguig. Opo. Okay. Uh, operationally, mayroon po kayong control at supervision sa buong tanggapan ng Register of Deeds ng Taguig. Yes, Your Honor. Now, yung lahat po ng mga binarkahan sa ebidensya ng mga titulo ay hawak nyo po bilang Register of Deeds ng Taguig. Opo. Hawak ng opisina ninyo. Yes, sir, but not physically. But yes, uh, have you have control sir. over this. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, <clears throat> and uh, you had the, the, and uh, the documents that gave rise to these uh, titles were processed under your authority. Yes, Your Honor, as the head of the office. So that while uh, you did not personally witness all the aspects of the process, you were familiar with the various transactions that led to the issuance of these documents. Yes, titles. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, <clears throat> in fact, it was, it is your decision as Register of Deeds that would finally cause the registration of these uh, titles. Yes, sir. And that is the approval stage, sir. All right. And uh, before approval, you reviewed all the documents. Naturally, sir. Now, and uh, you will confirm that uh, based on your records, the titles you brought here this afternoon are all current titles. Uh, Meaning that they are, if it, the name appearing in the title is the, uh, that you have brought here is the current owner appearing in the title. Yes, sir, but uh, I have also brought uh, council titles with me, right. to be honest. Now, <clears throat> I just uh, would want to ask uh, a specific question on one of the titles. <clears throat> um, TCT number 2093-P in the name of Charina Corona. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a copy of the TCT? Yes, Your Honor. Who is the seller? It is the Mega World Corporation, sir. Is that in the deed of sale? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a copy of the deed of sale? Yes, Your Honor. What is the date of the deed of sale? October 21, 2008, sir. Now, does the 
name Renato Corona appear in that deed of sale. 